All right, Elena, thank you. And speaking of that, it is the preventable death that continues to take young lives every year. It's children dying after being left in hot cars. And according to the National Safety Council, that number is going up. Yeah, that's right. Coming through ABC's Emma Lockhart, hot Emma Lockhart joins us live with more on ways you can prevent this tragedy from happening. Mike Faven, just this past Monday, a child in Southern California was left in a hot car and was reported in critical condition. So unfortunately, this is an issue that just continues to happen. Parents oftentimes unknowingly leave their child in the car. And with that triple digit heat, it can be deadly. And right now I am joined with Dr. Ron Ostrom with Hall Ambulance. Ron, tell me a little bit about how deadly this can be and how quickly these cars can heat up. It's really quite remarkable how, how fast the rise in temperature can occur inside of a car and inside of a children, a small children who can poorly regulate heat. The average increase in temperature can occur up to 19 degrees per 10 minute interval. So even on a relatively mild day, maybe it's 80 degrees outside, you're not thinking it's such a big deal, but inside a closed container, hot container where a child cannot thermoregulate, cannot evaporatively cool, their core temperature can accelerate quickly. So with a matter of 10, 20 minutes. It can be a core temperature over 104 and 5, which makes for heat stroke criteria to 107 where death can occur. It happens quite, quite quickly. And physically, what is a child going through during this time? They lose the ability to thermoregulate. Uh, one of the, their, their greatest mechanisms to cool is evaporative cooling. Uh, it's the sweating. It's the, uh, the lifting of moisture away from their skin. If they're bundled up, if they're in that closed area, they can't do that anymore. Now their, their brain gets confused. Uh, it swells. Um, damage to the heart, brain, kidneys, things like rhabdomyolysis can result. First it starts with profuse sweating, and then the child becomes hot, dry, and confused. Those are the hallmarks you need to look for and watch out for when it comes to heat related illness. Okay, and like I said, this is completely preventable and there are some simple things that you can do to make sure that this doesn't happen to remind yourself yourself something as easy as putting your phone in the back seat next to your child to be that reminder, even a purse, just so you are reminded that your child is back there. Also something to note is that you should always have your car locked. Oftentimes children climb into the car unknowingly and can get stuck resulting in those hot car deaths. Reporting live in Central Bakersfield, Emma Lockhart, 23 ABC News. Two of America's most popular SUVs hit with a poor rating. We'll tell you why and what you need to know. Making pizza, you don't think goes with fixing roads, right? Well, one train chain is trying to change communities one pothole at a time. I'll tell you how we can get Bakersfield on the list next on 23 ABC. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Your experience is 97. And then this afternoon with that bad air quality, 102. Oh. More on the 80s for this weekend, though. Again, that's where we're focusing. Coming up, as for our roadways, if you need to run out the door, watch out for that Truxton construction. But I was showing you major slowing on Truxton a few minutes ago. That's opened back up. It's yellow to green. So be patient. People are hitting the brakes, but you can get through. All right, uh, topping this hour is the preventable death that continues to take young lives every year. We're talking about kids being uh, left in hot cars and dying as a result. Yeah, that's right, 23 ABC's Emma Lockhart joins us live with more on ways you can prevent this tragedy from happening to you. Mike Faven, just this past Monday, a child in Southern California was left unattended in a hot car and was reported with critical injuries. So unfortunately, this issue just continues to happen. And right now I'm at Hall Ambulance with Dr. Ron Ostrom. He's going to tell me a little bit about really what physically happens when a child is left in the car unattended and how it can be deadly. So heat-related illness is a spectrum. can start early on with some symptoms of headache, irritability, fatigue, profuse sweating. That can advance and escalate to, to confusion, to being poorly or unresponsive. These are signs and symptoms to look out for. What you should do immediately is, is skin exposure. We mentioned earlier that evaporative cooling is the key combatant to heat-related illness. Exposing skin, getting water, moisture on the skin, allow this evaporative cooling to take place is critically important. Then notifying 911. And, and until help arrives, just some general support. It's very important. And talk a little bit about the statistics. You were saying that July
July has the highest rate of this incident happening. Absolutely. Uh, year after year, the average is about 40, 40 deaths across the country uh, in July, which being the highest month for this type of incident. So real important to be keyed, keyed into it at this point in time, this point in the year. And if you if you see a child unattended in a car, what should you do if you see a child going through some of these symptoms? What is the best method to help them? It's the skin exposure, it's the evaporative cooling, it's getting off the, the binding, the conforming, removing from the environment. If it's in a hot, hot container like a car, getting them out of that environment, no, notifying 911, supporting a child by you know getting moist towels on the skin, that type of thing, until help arrives, and then getting them to the hospital where they can properly cool the child down. Okay, thank you. And so, unfortunately, oftentimes these parents, these drivers, are left or leave their child unattended in the car unknowingly. So, something that they can do is putting your phone in the back seat, your purse in the back seat, anything next to your child to be that reminder. And something also to note is to always keep your car locked. Oftentimes, children climb into the car, they want to play, they get stuck, and that ultimately ends uh, with them being stuck in the car and suffering from these heat deaths. Reporting live in Central Bakersfield, Emma Lockhart, 23 ABC News. All right, thank you, Emma. And now to a new warning about the dangers of drowsy driving. Millions of Americans getting ready to hit the road this summer. This comes after an out-of-control car slams into a toll plaza in Florida, launching a passenger into the air. ABC's Gio Benitez has this story. Watch as this car barrels down the Florida Turnpike at full speed before slamming into a toll plaza. And look closer. The passenger ejected. Watch as he flies through the windshield and lands 30 feet away near the toll booth. When we talk to the driver, uh, he doesn't remember the crash. According to the crash report, the driver was either asleep or fatigued at the wheel. I think a lot of people think that they can get through it. Uh, either by co drinking coffee 